Another topic I'd like to talk about is the change in center of gravity. Uh, this is something that you'd have, you'll have to consider if you're going to be shifting the weight around in a vessel. And uh, you want to make sure that it's not done so in a way that's going to jeopardize the safety of the vessel by uh, minimizing the vessel's stability. Okay, so if you move the, any weight on the vessel, or a significant amount of weight on a vessel, uh, horizontally, either to port or starboard, um, then you can change the location of the center of gravity horizontally, okay? Also, same with uh, vertical. If you move any of the weight up or down, you can also change the center of gravity up or down, okay? So, this can either work for or against you. If you are lowering the center of gravity, that will make the vessel more stable. If you're raising the center of gravity, it can make it less stable. And I can explain how. Okay, let's say, for example, we shift weight over to the starboard side, okay? So we've shifted our center of gravity over here. Okay, what that does to our writing arm, I could point out, now this is our writing arm before we shifted the center of gravity here, okay? This red line is our writing arm. Okay, so that's the arm that's trying to make the vessel go back upright. Okay, let's just say that it's a uh, wind that's causing this vessel to lean over is what we call healing. The wind is causing the vessel to heal. Okay, so this is the writing arm and it's working to put the vessel back upright. Okay, if we shift that center of gravity over horizontally, what we've basically done is we've shifted our center of gravity over to here. And then what that has done in turn is shorten that writing arm. So the buoyancy is going to be having less, less pressure to try to write the vessel. Um, or I should say a shorter writing arm to write the vessel. Okay, now likewise, if we were to shift the writing arm over to the port side here, and we had a wind causing it to heal, that could increase the writing arm. Okay, so here's our other writing arm there. Okay. Now, likewise, if we change the position of our weight on the vessel vertically, that too can change our writing arm. So here, if I raise weight in the vessel, I move the center of gravity up, so the new center of gravity is G prime. So we'll draw G prime on this example here. There's G prime. So we've raised that up. Now you can see how, here's our old writing arm, our new writing arm has gotten shorter as well. So therefore, there's less leverage that buoyancy will have to put the boat upright. So now, of course, if I lower the center of gravity down to here, you can see how that increases the length of the writing arm. So that's basically the same concept that if you're standing in a canoe as opposed to sitting in a canoe, standing, your center of gravity is high. There's a shorter writing arm. You're more likely to tip over. If you're sitting in the bottom of the canoe, you have this really long writing arm. So that, in that case, the canoe is more stable. Okay, one thing to consider, if you were working on a research vessel, we'll say this is our little research vessel here, and we have a deployment crane here. Okay, so we're doing a deployment. We're hauling up something really heavy. One thing that we have to take into consideration as to how it can change the center of gravity. Okay, under this circumstance, because it's hanging over our starboard side and hauling that weight on the starboard side, it's shifting our center of gravity over towards starboard. Okay, so we have a shift in that direction. But it is also raising the center of gravity because the weight is hanging from the end of our boom right here. Okay, the weight is not concentrated here, it's out here. So you have this horizontal shifting of the center of gravity because it's hanging out over the edge, but then you also have the vertical shift in the center of gravity because it's, the weight is being lifted from way up here. So then your new center of gravity can shift over to here. Okay, so under that circumstance, our new center of gravity is way over here. So we have little to no writing arm. 
So now if it shifted even further, then the writing arm would be negative. And as we saw when I, in my earlier explanation, that could cause the boat to tip over because you have buoyancy and gravity working instead of to balance each other or to right the vessel, it's working to top to capsize the vessel. Now under this circumstance where there's no writing arm, the vessel's sitting at equilibrium. Okay, so it's, it's, it's listing over, which is a leaning of the vessel caused by a change in the location of the weight. It's listing, but it's at equilibrium. As long as it stays here, it's not going to tip anymore. That can be okay. The only thing is, if the water's flat calm, it's not much of an issue. If the water is rough, what can happen is you get a big wave coming through here. Suddenly, your center of gravity hasn't changed, but your center of buoyancy has. And then you have, once again, buoyancy and gravity working against each other. Buoyancy is pushing up on the vessel here, then you have gravity pulling down, which gives you a negative lever arm. And the, neg or the negative writing arm. So the negative writing arm can topple the vessel.